Hey guys, how you doing? Jody here. So uh, I'm just going to give you the basically the download here, the insights that I received. I did a, an ayahuasca ceremony, my third in uh, as many weeks, I think, pretty much. And it was uh, very powerful. It was in the jungle, uh, led by these wonderful um, shamans, Peruvian shamans, and Incan and the Toltec shaman as well. So powerful. Oh my God. So what? What did I understand? I saw many things. I saw my own stuff. I saw uh, everything that I'm working through and was given little nudges and lessons about, okay, the way I live and the way I operate and the patterns that are playing out in my life. And that was like, oh my God, thank you. Like, yes, with the compassion and with the spaciousness as well. And so I am currently integrating that and, and making subtle shifts and changes but wow what I saw I saw I saw everything like I, I, I arrived at an oracular state of consciousness like an oracle state of consciousness like oracle mode God mode state of consciousness and what I saw was just what's going on on the planet what's happening, what's been happening, and what's and what's going to be happening, okay? So I see, I saw how, and, and it's not like stuff I'm not familiar with, because I do tune into this stuff anyway, being a, being a channel and having my, my senses open and information flowing in. So I do get a lot of insight anyway, but this was a confirmation, a deep confirmation, and really like, okay, this is really, yeah, this is what's going on, right? So there is this play, this manipulation, and this control that is playing out on a grand, on a global scale, and we all have these choices about our sovereignty. What do you choose? How do you, how do you make your decisions? What do you choose? What do you want to create in the world? Where do you put your consciousness? Uh, where do you focus your attention? it's all about that like everything this sovereignty piece about that you are the creator and the ultimate power of your own reality is real it's not some idea that's really cool and faddish it is actually the truth and the abuelita the grandmother medicine of ayahuasca has shown me that and not only that but there is these wonderful challenges these control, control systems and structures that are in place and have been and they're ramping it up, ramping up right now. So the field of battle is awareness around health and humanity has been giving these choices, right, to, to step up or to, uh, to bow down and to get on the knees. And what most people are choosing is to go on their knees. Uh, you know, wearing whatever, this thing around the face, getting this uh, pathogens uh, injected, uh, all of that, all of that, right? I don't need to go into the, the politics of it, but nothing to do with health, nothing to do with well-being when you really look into it. So then what is it to do with? It's about manipulation, it's about infringement of your sovereignty of your power and it's it's that push and pull that play okay that getting a challenge can you will you step up will you how will you respond what what do you choose and so you get down on your knees and be a good little slave and do what everyone says because you're so terrified of death or terrified of being outcast from the pack from the herd herd consciousness or do you step up and and with courage find the truth for yourself and roar as a lion with a heart and say this is true for me and find out actually what's true what's really really true and learn the power of discernment so discerning reality the truth the facts not just taking on Oh, because I saw it on the news or I read it in the, it must be true. No, 
So this is the choice right now, and it's a pretty brutal choice, because what I also see is millions will die, because that which is being pushed, and has already been pushed, is a bioweapon. It is a pathogen, and it will kill people, and it is killing people, and is seriously compromising huge amounts of people's health, all kinds of people being admitted to hospital related to this and people are dying and people will die and um, they uh, skip the, the uh, animal trials and they're doing live test trials on human beings as guinea pigs and so that's what you're going to get uh, but don't take my word for it you do your own research and you look into it for yourself because otherwise you're just giving your power away to me and it's all about owning your own power claiming your power focus of your consciousness and where you put your attention and where you put your energy and this is ultimately about energy mastery so future of humanity choice discernment those who step up those who claim their power are going to be vibrant and bright and well those who don't those who choose fear who are overwhelmed by the fear uh, are going to be subject to other forces and that's what I saw, that's what Mother Ayahuasca, uh, Abuelita Ayahuasca showed me um, that yeah millions are going to be dying and the writing's on the wall so but I'm here in Tulum, Tulum is this incredible vortex energy, uh, there's the biggest underwater river system in the world here and that creates a certain field. Water creates a field. There's water under every pyramid for a reason. It creates energy, it creates a field. And so what it does here is it magnifies and amplifies your intentions. So if your intention is to grow and uh, become more aware and more, more conscious, then you will experience that. And everyone I meet who is with that intention is experiencing incredible growth and synchronicities and magic every single day. Those people who have opposite intentions probably likely experiencing the opposite. It shows you yourself. So, what is this uh, this place is about right now is new earth activation. So the new earth consciousness, which is about regenerative, uh, heart-based reality, where we see everything is connected. You understand that there is a oneness that unites us all, the unified heart, and that. Uh, we can come together and we are absolutely powerful beyond measure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, uh, dude. Um, it's very funny. You're amusing. You amuse me. So, <laughs> don't give your power away to me. <laughs> Claim your power. Own your power. Own your energy. Own your attention. Own your consciousness. That's what I recommend. And I really, really encourage you to do that. And yeah and so this for me is, is sharing that information so uh, Saloon New Earth Consciousness yes and so there are many projects and many incredible entrepreneurs conscious entrepreneurs visionaries convening here in this area to create the new earth to build out the platforms to build the structures to create the community where we are unified where we are coming from a vibration where we are in discernment and understanding and sovereignty and we are acknowledging and recognizing our absolute power as creators and co-creating together because this is a, a team project. This is a togetherness project where we come together and we assist each other and we, we, we have each other's backs and that is just so important. So that's pretty much the transmission that I wanted to share right now and just get it out there because uh, it's open, right? Tulum is open and there's so much happening here that is amazing uh, so I wanted to share that with you and uh, yes, I am uh, envisioning retreats here and it's taken me a while to kind of ground here and work out all options so that's still in the process Hi Margarita, hi Amy and I am actually setting up a New Earth Leadership Mentoring Container, which, if you're interested, this is about bringing in the New Earth, leading from the heart, 
getting aligned, getting soul aligned on mission, on purpose, and connecting with other like-minded leaders who are here to create and co-create the new earth. So if that is something that resonates, hit me up, ask me for more information because this is absolutely next level and it will be something that you do not want to miss if you resonate with what I've just shared. The energy is here, it's channeling through me and everyone here in this space who is open and ready and the, the power, the acceleration is absolutely incredible. So you can probably feel it through this live and if you, you know what I mean if you know what I mean. So excitement and uh, so many possibilities you know it's about the sermon it's about reclaiming your own power stepping up to your highest frequency and owning who you are and owning your choices and your actions and not blaming anyone not being the victim hi Chris good good to hear from you yeah great good that it resonates message me not being the victim stepping up we are the creators and this is what this is all about you know, this body, this earth, this now, this reality that we're in and, and learning to say no to what does not serve and let, letting go of that and stepping into our paths, our missions, our absolute power and being who we are and why we're here, doing all of that. The being, the making it happen and the coming together with one heart in this earth now to create a new reality so on that joyful note I will say goodbye and let me know if you want to know more about what I shared and uh, I'll be going live next week as well and if you're interested in more of what I do then you can also get involved with the Golden Alchemy Awakening group which is a free group I have on Facebook too so check my profile out for that uh, and I love you take care of yourself wherever you are and just say no to the pathogens. Love you. Got to go. Bye-bye.